Hey everyone, welcome back to my devlog series for guinea pig parkour. I'm Jeff, and it's been a while. I shot my first devlog with full intention of having that be a regular thing, and uh, it went really long, and I decided to chop it up into parts. And uh, a lot has happened personally to prevent me from recording anymore, so thanks for being patient, but uh, I'm happy to be back and I can tell you what's been going on. The first thing you might have noticed is that I have some new equipment. I've got this microphone, um, I've got a new light, I got something that helps me monitor the camera through the computer and actually allows me to record the uh, video through the computer so I can have the microphone and the video sync up and not have to deal with transferring video files from the camera to the computer. Uh, the reason I got all that new equipment is I just sort of randomly got contacted by someone at, uh, well, I won't say where, but I got contacted by someone from a tech company and they wanted to pay me to give some feedback on their social media updates. And I was like, sure. <laughs> so um, I gave feedback and they gave me um, basically like gift cards so I couldn't really I didn't really know what to do with the gift card money and I thought oh why not reinvest it back into the channel so I got some better equipment got a real microphone light um, I got some new uh, headphones can headphones and yeah it's gonna allow me to um, hopefully produce better quality videos so oh and I also got those uh, like colored lights for the background but the funny thing is I got all that equipment and then uh, proceeded to not be able to work for a while. Yeah, so the reason it's been so long, um, over three months since I've posted anything, is uh, I just had some, basically this summer has been like mental health summer for me. And I, you know, I moved here, I got set, th set things up. Um, I was trying to get the ball rolling and life had other ideas, I, th I guess. Um, I, you know, I've I've uh, been in therapy for off and on, but for like 15 years, I've been off and on. Like sometimes I'll be in therapy regularly. Sometimes I'll take a year or two off. Um, and for whatever reason, probably breaking up with my long term relationship and moving and um, not really being as productive as I wanted to be uh, this, these last really this last two years um after the breakup it's been very difficult to be on task and on focus the way I used to be and um I've done a lot of self-exploration and it kind of just all culminated this summer and um I had some really profound epiphanies and breakthroughs and insights that I needed to emotionally process like some some things for like a week at a time I all I could do was only process kind of profound things and um, one of the major insights that I had was that I have an unhealthy relationship with work. And, um, you know, I would flippantly in the past say I'm a workaholic. Everyone who knows me would say that easily. Um, but I realized that what that actually means and where it comes from and um, how it's unhealthy and how it's not how I actually want to exist and um, so a lot of it's just discovering who I am beyond being a machine of output. And um, so then the challenge was, how do I, coming from that learning point, how do I then move forward and get back to work? Because I still need to do a lot of work, but I need to have a healthier relationship with it. And basically it's simple. I just need to set better boundaries. Um, I was very um i just didn't really have boundaries around how much i was working when i was working um and it's simple i mean it's it's, it's one of those things where it's uh seems obvious now but it's basically i just have to treat this work like you would treat any job which is you have a time to clock in and you have a time to clock out and that's it and whatever you get done in that time that's what you get done I had this sort of perfectionistic um, attitude where 
if I was working, like say I was drawing, um, when I'm drawing, the timer was going, okay, I'm getting an hour, however much time I'm getting done. But as soon as I took a break, got up, used the restroom, that timer was paused. And so sure, I might get eight hours done, but it might take me 12 to 16 hours to do it. And the reality is when you work at a normal job, that's not how you're calculating your time. So in reality, I was working probably 12 hours, days, um, 12 to 16 hour days because it, because the, getting those eight hours done took the whole day to do it. And so that leaves no time to be a person. So it took me a long time to like work through all the uh, emotions and kind of um, all the stuff that I had been suppressing. And the beauty is on the other side of the, all that work, I now have a healthier approach to getting work done and I have an excitement about having a balanced life that I can be proud of my work, but it doesn't define who I am. And I can be a person alongside being someone who work. And, um, you know, I think to me, it's important to share this kind of thing because um, I just don't think you can ever have enough messaging out there to advocate for a healthy work-life balance. And for me personally, um, I didn't, I was kind of in denial. I didn't realize I didn't have a healthy work-life balance, but um, but I came face to face with it, and um, I'm grateful I did. So yeah, I mean, I'm I have a very optimistic outlook now for the future because I really didn't know how I was going to get back to. I didn't know how I was going to get back on track, and now it seems very clear to me that if I have these clear boundaries and um, approach life in that way, I'll, I'll have emotional energy and I'll have, um, productive energy and it will all work together so that I'm actually, in the end, I think I'll actually be more productive, but even if I'm not, it's, I'll be a more well-rounded person and I'll still be putting out my content, but yeah, so it was a, it was a pretty, um, profound summer and, uh, but that's why I haven't put anything out. I had I needed to take I needed to take that time to really just work on myself and um I'm happy I did. And it was very rewarding because I had been working off and on on these side projects um like the lo-fi streams and they were all it's they're all very close to completion um and yesterday I got my first day in where it was a 8-hour day, clear boundaries um, clock in, clock out attitude. And I had, I was able to finish the, um, lo-fi stream animation I had been working on. I was able to stream for three hours and it was nice to have that be my entry point back into being back. So anyway, that's the gist of where I've been. And, um, I have done a little bit of work all among that uh, personal work. And uh, it's basically been creating this uh, lo-fi streaming stuff, which um, the goal there, I talked about it before, but the goal is to create a regular live stream where I'll be drawing live and you can follow along with the progress of creating the game as well as any other projects I'm working on. And the first piece of that I completed was this uh, Flying Cages screensaver you see behind me. Uh, which is a little throwback to the After Dark Flying Toaster screensaver. And that was just going to be like um, kind of an animated loop I was going to use for the uh, live stream I'm working on. But I thought, hey, why not make it a real functioning screensaver? So I did, and uh, if you want, you can get it now. Um, I made it a screensaver, um, some wallpapers, and I also made uh, an executable version. And uh, the executable, you can actually import into the wallpaper engine program and use it as an animated desktop. And then uh, after I was finished with that, I decided to make a uh, just a quick little digital painting and Joe sleeping in the corner and um, make a sleepy lo-fi live stream. And I put that out yesterday as, as of this recording. And that gives a taste of what the drawing live streams will be except in the drawing ones there instead of the uh, screensaver being on 
on the monitor, there will be live video of me drawing and it'll actually, you'll see an animated version of me and I have several animations I've made of that, of um, different things where I'm working. Um, so I think that's going to be cool. So yeah, as far as what's coming next, um, it's going to be the lo-fi live drawing live stream. That's my next project. Once that's done, then you can expect regular live streams on the channel where I'll be streaming that as the wrapper and inside of it will be the actual progress of drawing animation. And of course, in addition to that, I want to start doing these devlogs more regularly. And the next goal for the game is to get that first room out. I know I said that I would be done in a month, but obviously I had uh, other things I was dealing with. But uh, that is the next goal, is just to get a that piece finished, send that out to everyone, um, all the backers and patrons, and that will start that process of completing the demo piecemeal and sharing my progress as I go. So it's been a bit of a struggle to get here, but from here on out, I do feel like it's going to be a lot smoother. I'm going to have more regular updates. We're going to have videos come out. We're going to have updates to the game and uh, regular live streams. So I'm excited. I'm happy to be back at it. And uh, thanks for watching. And until next time.